you coming to the disco tonight? Yeah, get a move on, Pete. I'm gone. Well, I don't know. I mean, my mum might not let me. You don't have to tell your mum. Yeah, OK. OK, I'll see you there. I'm going to see Fielder in the morning. Can I go out tonight, Mum, please? What about your homework? I finished it. All right. But don't be late. Aren't you even going to ask him where he's going? Well, to see Peter, I suppose. Leave the boys out of it. It's nothing to do with them. What do you think Fielder will advise you to do? I expect he'll advise me to accept Johnson's offer. I want to think about it. You haven't stopped to think what effect it's going to have on us. Going to the disco now, Mum. Make sure you're back by 10.30. Right. You're going with Joseph? I expect so. See ya. I wish you wouldn't let him run around with that kid. Oh, Doc, this is silly, Bill. No, he's Kook's son. It doesn't concern them. Well, it makes it bloody difficult for me at the works. Oh, only kids. I wish you'd try and see my point of view. Oh, don't be so ridiculous, Bill. I can't. I mean, I look stupid. You look more stupid sitting there. Yours. What? Them two over there. Come on. Very good, are you? What do you mean? You're a bit slow. Jessica, you come in. Jessica! Better go. Bye. See ya. Bugged that up for me, didn't you? <sighs> What's up? You said I was slow. You'll be all right. Don't worry about that. I didn't really fancy you. I mean, I'd rather be mates with you. That's different. We'll always be mates. Love them and leave them. That's what I say. Kids at school have said they've done things and that. Don't believe them. They're talking a load of bullshit. You ever done it? No, I wouldn't do it to a girl unless I really fancied her. I could lay off some of the men. Security, Keith, security. The bank holds a debenture on the buildings and the machinery, most of which is obsolete. And you put up your own home as a guarantee. Head office are screaming at me. 
You think I should sell out to Johnson and let him have it for redevelopment? At least that way you come out with a bit of money. If we lend you any more, we'd be pouring good money after bad. And you'd be putting your own home and family at risk. Well, let me think about it. The business has been in the family a good many years. I should hate to lose it. And what would I do? Sign on at the dole, I suppose. What's the alternative? Lose your home? We should both make a school team. Yeah, with a bit of luck. Hey, the other day, the kid called me a wanker. So? Well, what's it mean? You are. No, I can't. What's it mean? You mean you don't know? Well, what is it? Money. Yeah, I reckon. Come on, then we might as well do it now. Too many people. It's too big a risk. Yeah, I see what you mean. Come here, you pig. You deserve a bucket. <laughs> Take that, you German swine. Hey, hey, he deserves a bucket. Risen from the dead. Did he do it last night? Yeah. All right. Yes, yeah, okay. Hey, I've got a copy of Mayfair. Where'd you get that? Found it when I was cleaning out the shed for my dad. Must be his. <laughs> She's a bit of all right, isn't she? Yeah. <laughs> Mayfair's most erotic film yet. Shh. Bloody hell, that's been on. Jesus. God, what'd she do if she caught me with that? <laughs> Do you reckon more to girls than me? Don't be stupid. You can't be best mates with a girl, can you? What did you think about when you did it? I thought about going up to a girl in the street, someone I didn't know at all, massive tits, going boing, boing, boing. <laughs> I think about if it was at a strip club. This lovely wench walks on with massive tits. She starts taking clothes off. Run and jump on top of it. <laughs> it really gets one going. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I've done some more to my mother railway. Do you want to come see it? Yeah, if my dad will let me. He's not on very good speaking terms with your dad. I don't get it. What's going on between them? Don't know. Dad just sits and sulks all day. Never says anything. I'm here. You deserve a bucket. Ah, oh, Joe, sit down for a moment, will you? I was going to watch telly. Oh, just sit down. Look, I'd prefer it if you didn't see Peter again. But at least for a while, anyway. Why not? There's a bit of a problem down at the factory. And Peter's father's being a bit difficult. That doesn't concern me and Pete, though. Well, you're a bit young to understand it. Let's just say things could be a bit unpleasant for you. Leave him alone, Keith. Well, at least let him choose his own friends. Well, it's for his own good. Do you know that? 
peace in the other lads might gang up on him. And I don't want that to happen. If you'd make up your mind and sell the wretched business, none of this would be happening. What was that bird that you came out last night? Oh, a bit of a slut, you know, but yeah. she's all right. Slight yeah. case of wandering and trouble, but I mean, I wasn't complaining. Yeah, that one I took home wasn't a lot bad either. A bit roundy, was she? Telling me. Cool, yeah. these ain't your average number sixes, are they? No, nope. <laughs> they don't go any number six in. Mm. What are the trucks on that thing like? Oh, a bit loose, you know, but mm. they're okay, I suppose. Stink. Is that in? No. Nope. <laughs> Where'd you get the matches from? Same place. <laughs> Right, I've got a light. Spark up off that. Let's have a look at it. Yeah, sure. Right? Gold wing, eh? Yeah, they're not bad. Um, <coughs> bloody expensive. Spent about ten quid on them. Oh, bloody hell. Can I have a go? Yeah, I don't mind. Go on. Don't. don't fall off, though, will you? No. <laughs> Come to help me with the washing up. <laughs> you were lucky. Mum, can I have a skateboard? If you buy it with your own money. I haven't got any. I could borrow some off Dad, but give him back. Your father won't be able to lend you any money at the moment. The strike? Yeah. Bit of an eighth board, isn't it? Yeah, not very good yet. How much was it? Sixty quid. <sighs> Who bought you that? My dad. Oh no, it's got the best wheels and all, hasn't it? Can I have a go? Sure. So. Down the road, he lets me borrow his board. What kid's that? Oh, just to make me brothers. Hmm. Why don't you get one? Mum says they're too dangerous, so she won't buy me one. I know. I could save all my paper round money up and buy one out of that. Then she wouldn't know I got one. Magic. going out now, Mum. I'll see you later. You're staying in. Why? What have I done? It's not what you've done. Where are you going, though? Joe's house. I always go on Saturdays. You're not going. It's not Joe's fault. I don't care. I don't want Peter having anything more to do with them. But it's my best mate. Sit down. I'm going to my room. Hey, I got him. I'm even going to make up a little sign for him, too. Then. 
You're not worth the effort, you're not. If I have a go at you, I'll piss off. Oh, You've been on strike for two weeks now. What do you hope to gain from it? We just want redundancy payments for those 40 men he's going to lay off. Well, the facts are the bank is foreclosing. They we say that... We haven't heard anything about that. Yeah. Where, Where did you hear that, that from? Well, we have heard from the management that the bank is foreclosing on the company. Mr. Cook. Yes. Rubbish. We've heard nothing about that at all. But he says that the, uh, the company is overmanned by half. No. He wants to sell it to Johnson's. He wants to. He wants to get rid of the factory. You're saying that he hasn't got any of your interests at heart? I don't think so. Forty men laid off, no redundancy payments. Well, is anyone here prepared to volunteer for redundancies to help their colleagues? We could keep going. If he just find the redundancy payments for these 40 men, we could keep going, keep going in production. Yeah. He says he's got to sell it. He doesn't have to. So by industrial standards, this company could never be called large. But for the past 70 years, it's provided continuous employment for 80 people. If this company dies, it'll obviously have a serious effect on the lives of the people who live here. More news now from Paul Harris. A record price for building land in the south is Hello, the consortium of two builders. Bradley Fitzgibbon and Wilson and Sons of Nestle obtained one million one thousand pounds, just over sixteen acres of land in Scarsdale, off the Park. How's the new school going? Don't like it much. Well, you'll get used to it. Dinner's almost ready. Well, that's it. It's all done. Mm -hmm. we clear the debts with a bit over. But what are you going to do? A bit of luck. Remember Jim Bailey? He's offered me a job with his firm. I thought the move to Southampton will give us a chance to start anew. It'll be nearer Joe's new school as well. Tomorrow then. Coffee time. All right, I'll see you then. Joe?
Oi, Pete, coming down youth club tonight? Come on, Joe, stop pissing about. You won't laugh at me. Laugh at what? My school uniform. Don't be stupid. What's your new school like, anyway? It's all right. I hear you're moving away. Yeah, Dad sold the factory or something. My dad still waits outside the factory. And the new people have laid off more of his mates. TV came down the other week. I'd better go. I'm sorry about what happened at school. The other kids made me do it. I can't help what my dad did. Joe, I'd like... No, it don't matter. Pete? Yeah? My new school, it's terrible, really. See ya. Can I come in? Can I come in? Christ, I'm freezing. What are you doing here, anyway? I wanted to see you before we left. We're moving tomorrow. Oh. We had some great times. Yeah. <laughs> When you hit me, did you really mean it? No, them kids made me do it. 
That may as well. Why? I've been mates with you. We still mates. Best mates. What's the old school like now? Still as shit as when you left it. Same timetable, same homework, same teachers. Not changed. My school's a lot different. We have to learn Latin and things. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of homework as well. Let's clear out. What, run away? Sod our parents. We can make our own decisions for a change. I've got some money. Where we go to, though? Anyway, it doesn't matter. Find somewhere kept. Where? Over there looks all right. What, out in the open? Unless you've got any better suggestions, yeah. Bloody neck. Gee. It's cold, isn't it? Yeah. What time it is? I don't know, I left my watch at home. Can't go that far from Leamington now. Might as well make an early start. Yeah. Can't get Max. Rough night, eh, lads? Where are you going? Why? You have to have tickets, you know. Oh. You could try it. Yeah. You could stay at the weekends as well. Do have the high face. Sorry, you can't go there. Why not? There's no station at High Stupid. We'll have to go to Southampton. Christ, I'm bloody freezing. Yeah, me know. You right then? No, I'll stay here a bit. Okay then, see you. you in. 
found you in the other week, actually. What's down there? Ah. You're not a very good driver, are you? <laughs> British Rail wouldn't have you. <laughs> oh, I said track, actually. It needs cleaning. I'll do that now. Have you got any more stuff? I don't think so. Oh, Go and get some later. You are hopeless. <laughs> you really are. So you much that proof kid lately? Who, Joe? Yeah. No. Rang me up the other week. Was out. Hmm. Got any money? Yeah, I got 30 pence. Fancy going down chippy? Yeah, okay, come on. I can't stop now, I mean, it's tea time. What are you doing now? I think I'm going to have chips in the Stay.